got an emergency that's coming. Right, and so yeah. it's no surprise yeah. he's bleeding from everywhere. He's, ble he's bleeding from everywhere, and time, time is of time the essence. essence. And we need to give him this blood transfusion now. Hey, 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 hey. Maisie's a generous soul <laughs> for doing this. She won't save oh. a life doing this. Scott, Charlie's crashing. I need you now. Okay. Yeah. She's bleeding out. She's really not looking good. Scott is heading back to work. There's an urgent call from Maz, the practice manager. Hello? Hey, Scott, it's Maz. Listen, we need you to get back to the clinic as soon as possible, OK? We've got an emergency that's coming. Charlie's been brought in. He's collapsed and barely conscious. Steph and Emma are doing everything they can to keep him stable until you get back, but I really need you here as soon as possible. OK, no worries. I'll uh, be there as soon as I can. OK, great. Thanks. OK, okay bye. bye. Gee, that doesn't sound good. Head vet nurse Emma and locum vet Steph are at the clinic trying to stabilise a critical patient, six-year-old Wheaton Terrier, Charlie. So this morning we get a call about Charlie to say that he's off his back legs. Um, so I was expecting to just find Charlie a little bit stiff and not able to get up. What I found was a completely different story. Charlie's a fantastic dog. He's been coming to my practice for a number of years now and we're all really fond of him. But he's been really unwell of late. And if he's gone into the practice for an emergency, you know it's gonna be bad. When Charlie arrived into the practice, when we finally got him back, he was barely breathing. He was semi-conscious, but he was also in a lot of pain. So Steph and I started Charlie's immediate care along with the other nurses. But as Charlie is one of Scott's long-standing patients, we know that we just need to get him back in the building as soon as possible. Oh, How are you, Matt? How was he? Hanging in there, but barely. Okay. Right, guys, what have we got? Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, yeah. Okay, so we've got Charlie here. Charlie's family is also away on holiday. The grandparents called the practice to say the Wheaton Terrier had collapsed. We went to the house to go and see um, what the situation was. He and, seems and quite painful yeah. even now. Have yeah. you yes. We've given him something for pain. So we've given him some pain relief. We assessed the situation, got him over here because he was collapsed. Um, he was I thought really he in a bad way. dead on the scene when yeah. we really? saw him this morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Charlie has a condition called immune-mediated thrombocytopenia. It's basically where his own body is attacking platelets, and those are the cells important for clotting blood. Right now, his platelet count is at an all-time low, he's bleeding everywhere, and he's in real trouble. We're unsure as to exactly what has caused the body to behave that way, but we have a feeling that he may have a condition called Leishmania. Leishmania is a very nasty disease spread by sand flies, particularly in Southern Europe. Charlie went on a holiday recently. He must have been bitten when he was away on holiday. He's come back, and this condition is manifested in lots and lots of different ways. His kidneys are affected, his skin's affected, uh, his joints are affected. He is a very, very unwell dog right now. Well, I can see straight away that his gums are exceptionally pale. And the particular um, hemorrhaging. You on can his see he's got some hemorrhages. So well. we've done some initial blood work. The blood work shows that he is severely anemic and he, right. he is actually going to need a, a blood transfusion. Okay. His platelet count is, there aren't any. Okay. Um, as you know, lowest it should be is about 35%. His okay. is at 15. Right, so it's yeah. no surprise yeah. he's bleeding from everywhere. He's, ble he's bleeding from everywhere. And time, time is of, time the, is essence. of the essence. That's yeah. right. Okay, so and I think um, what the big thing is now is about the blood transfusion. So yeah. in this instance, of course, we would normally do blood typing to be able to yeah. determine if there'd be any reaction. We just don't have time, time here. So we need quite a bit of blood for Charlie. So as a result, we need quite a large dog to provide it. The only person I can think of that's got a dog of any half decent size is Nathan. Yes. So let's give him a Lovely yell Maisie. and pull in Maisie and, uh, and see if she can donate some blood for little Charlie here. So the main medical issue that Charlie is suffering with is anemia. So he has a low red blood cell count. He's very pale, he's struggling to breathe. So what we're trying to do is to supplement the red blood cells by giving him a blood transfusion. Hello. Hey Nath, it's Maz. Charlie's been rushed in this morning and he's in a really bad way and we need to do a blood transfusion urgently. Is there any way you'd be able to bring Maisie in? Sure, not a problem. I'll be on my way now. Amazing, thank you. 
It only takes 10 minutes for Nathan to arrive with Maisie. Yeah, All right, you can be a good girl. I know she's just a young girl. Do you reckon she'll stay still for this or? I don't know. I'm gonna have to think it's a bit of a struggle, but we'll yeah. go. So a bit of sedation is probably the way to go. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Okay, hello baby. It's great that Nathan has allowed us to take the blood from Maisie. She's a big dog, so she can give us the volume that we need. And it's just so important for Charlie that he gets this blood transfusion. It's really the only chance that he's got for survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I yeah. think so. Ah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay, come on. Calm down. Sir. Calm down, Maisie. Come on. Poor Maisie. She's still really young. She doesn't know what's going on. You didn't let me do it? Oh, Maisie. It's so hard to see your dog so stressed, but you know it's for a good cause, and if we can help save Charlie, then it needs to be done. This is coming out very fast, nicely actually. She's obviously got good blood pressure. Nice, big, healthy young dog. Mate, you're a generous soul for doing this, or should I say Maisie's a generous soul for doing this. She might save oh, a life doing this. She's done all the hard work, hey? Charlie has touched the hearts of everyone here at the practice. He is such a beautiful, sweet-natured dog who's really been through hell and back with all the conditions that he's suffered of late. Charlie's owners are some of the best. You know, they really are great people. And like anyone, they deserve a holiday. But right now, they're thousands of miles away trying to make a decision about their dog that they love, who's in our clinic right now fighting for his life. And I'm sure their hearts are breaking. All right, sweetheart. Scott, Charlie's crashing, I need you now. Okay. Yeah. At the Richmond practice, Scott's desperately trying to save six-year-old Charlie. The Wheaton Terrier collapsed earlier today. The chest is starting to fill with fluid. She's filling with fluid. I mean, she's bleeding out. She's really not looking good. His family is on holiday overseas. Yeah, get the crash box. Charlie's condition means that he has absolutely no platelets. So that means he can't clot blood. He is bleeding from absolutely everywhere. He's in real grave danger and we need to give him this blood transfusion now. Okay, so yeah. we just gotta go with it. Anything is better than nothing, surely. Okay. It only takes a few minutes for the transfusion to take effect. There's definitely an improvement in that colour. There's no doubt about that. Charlie was starting to deteriorate quite rapidly. His breathing was getting more and more laboured and his colour was getting worse and worse, paler and paler. So thankfully, we've managed to get the blood transfusion into him just in time and he is responding. Mm -hmm. It's just a waiting game now, isn't it, I guess? It's going to do its job, I yeah. hope. Yeah, well, yeah. We just have to give it some time and see if he manages to survive long enough for his red blood cell count to be replenished. But who if knows how it, long... If we can get that up, we, we may have a chance. Mm. We've literally done everything we can do for Charlie now. There's nothing left. All we can do is hope that he makes it through the night. I just have no clue as to where this is going to go. The next morning, Emma is on her way to work early. After yesterday's emergency, Scott finally ordered her to go home to get some rest. Now, she has only one question on her mind. Hey. Good morning. How is the boy? He didn't make it. Yeah. The news for Charlie isn't good. Uh, sadly, he passed during the night. He, um, he battled hard and, and, you know, everyone just worked so hard with him. But um, he was just so, so unwell, desperately unwell. And uh, yeah, he slipped away in the night. So, yeah. I'm absolutely heartbroken to hear that Charlie's passed away. Um, yeah, I don't have many words at the minute. Oh, it really, really sucks. Yeah. And you do so much and you try so hard. He's left a hole behind. And it's, um, 
yeah, it's going to take us a, a while to get over over his passing because he was uh, he was a special boy, and we're all going to miss him. Done our absolute best. Yeah. Ugh. I know. Sucks. It's very hard to break the news to Emma that Charlie had passed. She put in such an amazing Herculean effort uh, to keep him going until I got into the practice and uh, was there by his side constantly. She's devastated that he's passed on. Well done. Well done. He was a brave boy until the end, as he was with everything that life threw at him, but he, he tried his best and he fought hard. Um, and I just hope now he's in a in a better place. Hello. Hello. Hey guys, how you hey. doing? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Bit of a rough day. Yeah. Just, just sucks, you know. It can't just be your veterinary knowledge that makes you do this job. It can't be. You've got to have a level of compassion. You've got to feel it right in here. Oh, poor Charlie. He's had a lot going on and a lot going wrong, sadly, but he flipping fought, you know, oh, he went as long he? as he could. He really did. He, he did everything he could, he just got yeah. a bit tired. Yeah. They're your friends. They've become your friends. You get to know the cats, you get to know the dogs, you get to know the rabbits, you know. You get to know them all, and then when it doesn't end how you want it to end, it crushes him, of course it does. He's only human at the end of the day, you know what I mean? He's a pretty decent human, but he is only human, you know, and, and he's got a, a heart as big as anything. Cup of tea to Charlie. Yeah. To Charlie. Yes. Thanks, Mass. Good girl. For Emma, the best therapy is the newly arrived V. A quiet walk through Richmond Park is helping her come to grips with the loss of Charlie. She's my outlet. She doesn't talk back, she's a good listener, so you can get rid of any frustration, and it's therapeutic. The bond that we have is something quite special, so to have her as my support system is magic. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.